Hi, it's Christian. Welcome to the next video on how to get the best out of the ProWav multi-track player from Worship Backing Band. In this video, we're going to have a look at the player's hotkeys. And hotkeys are basically shortcut functions that allow us to quickly access the functionality of the player. So I'm going to talk you through some of these. I'm going to show you what they are. Um, there is a, a information button right in the middle of the player, and if you click that, that will bring up a list of all the hotkeys. So the first really useful one is Spacebar. Spacebar, if you press that one, is your play button. So as I press it there, the player starts playing. But Spacebar will also loop a current section. So if I wanted to stay on this intro and I press Spacebar again, you'll see that it will go red. And what that means is at the end of this section, it'll go back and loop that section again. There we go. The next shortcut to know is Escape. If I press Escape now, that will stop the track. So we've got spacebar to play, and spacebar will also loop, and then we've got escape to stop. The next shortcut to show you are the forward and back arrows. So this is the forward arrow, and you can see that as I press it, it selects a section of the track, and if I press back, it'll move back to sections. And then if I wanted to play one of those sections, I can press spacebar. And by pressing spacebar, it'll line that up to be the next section. So if I move to chorus 3 and press spacebar now, you'll see that the colour red changes. And at the end of C2 or chorus 2, it'll go straight to chorus 3. So watch out for that. So it's queued up the next section. There we go. Let's move nicely on to the next section. So that's using the left and right arrows to key up the section and spacebar to trigger the section. And I'm going to press escape to stop. Or you might want to go immediately to a section. And to do that, you use again the forward and back arrows. And then you press the letter G for go. And that will jump straight into the section. So if I press G, it will start chorus 2. And if I go over to the outro and press G, it jumps straight to the outro. Or if I come back to verse 1 and press G, it jumps straight to verse 1. So that's really useful for practicing or for quickly getting into a section. You can do that. So the solo and the mute functions are held on buttons 1 to 9 and on the top line of the QWERTY keyboard, Q through to O. Um, so I'm just going to show you those. Let me just trigger off one of the bigger courses at the end so everything's playing. Start that looping. So button 1 is going to solo in on the lead vocal. Button 2 is going to be BVs. Button 3 is acoustic guitar. 4 and 5 are the two electrics. Six and seven are the two keys parts. Eight is bass. Nine is drums. And if I bring them back in, everything's back in. And likewise, I can go down the line below, which is the QWERTY keyboard line, and I can mute the tracks. So Q will mute lead vocal. W will Q will mute the BVs. E for acoustic guitar. R for electric, T for electric 2, Y for keys 1, U for keys 2, I for bass, and O for drums. And then we're just leaving the extras playing. And again, if I go back down the line, I can unmute all of them as well. Fantastic. So really simple way of just being able to mute and solo. And it really does become second nature really quickly. And as explained in previous videos, we can quickly press two buttons together. So if I press 8 and 9... We end up with a drum and bass kind of chorus where we can just loop on as well. So this tempo slider here is controlled by buttons A and Z. If I start the track playing and press A, tempo slider will move off and the song will get faster. Or Z to slow it down. Or we can use S and X to change the key. So every time we press S, the song will move up by a semitone. Stop another one. Or we can go down by pressing X. The 
The final hotkey to show you are the left and right arrows on your cursor and they will allow you to move forward and back through songs in your setlist. So the right arrow will move to the next song in your setlist, as you can see here, and the left arrow will move back a song in your setlist. And then when you've got the song that you want, again just hit spacebar and the song will start. Two bar piano intro. Two, three, four. 